Hello everyone, I'm doing another tutorial on multiplication doubling. So let's get right to it. Here's a problem to solve. So in this lesson, um, this is, I'm pretty sure it's about doubling. I just, I just, um, I just went into the sample account and then looked at the lessons and then I just decided to pick the publication doubling. I haven't done any of this, so, I mean, I haven't done any of this in a while, so I hope I can do it, I guess. So, let's double it. This Here's problem a problem. Is kinda, to this problem is kind of easy, actually. Um, right here, the one that says is zero and then an arrow, it shows three, basically saying zero plus three. And then wanted to double it again, so you can think of it three plus three, which is six. Or can you have, or you can um, think of it as two times three, same thing. Two jumps out. Three is one. So basically, doubling um three, doubling three, and then now you're doubling three twice, or just doubling three and doubling three again. So four times three is twelve, or or another way you can solve it is doubling six or quadrupling three. Four jumps out three. And I guess we just go. Figure this one out. Okay then. So zero plus three is three. Let's we, double it. Figure this one right out. Now. What's the product of the Okay now this is six. And then pretty sure next one's gonna be two. 12, jumps right? out three. It doubling it. Yeah. So you're just basically doubling, getting the concept Four of, jumps out three. of the idea of doubling. So we're about three. When you add three, then you double again, that'll be six. Doubling that again, that will be um, 12. And doubling that again, that'll be 24. It's kind of like Eight an jumps out three. For example, like two. Um, it's kind of like when you like pretend you were um, adding two, and then you're adding two again. And then after that, you're doubling that. 2 plus 2, or doubling that double of 2, which says 4, and doubling that again is 8, so it's kind of like exponents, to be honest. And this one's going to be 12, next. Let's double it! What's the pro- Yeah, so in this lesson, Six you're just adding, jumps out two and then you add three again, jumps something, out two and then you double. just double Let's double it. again! Just, yeah, just doubling. 24 12 jumps out 8 times 5 um, If you can't solve this men mentally or if you don't know the multiplication table you can just add this for example 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 that is 20 so you can add 20 plus 20 which is 40 or you can um, have the 20 or add 20 or just take the 2 from the 20 or from the um, tens place and add it to the other two and the other 20. Basically, four and then add it to the end. 40. Figure this one out. Total What's the three product? Is 36. It's best to know the multiplication table in order to do all this um, very quickly. Because if you don't know the multiplication table, it might take you quite a while to solve this. So yeah, just learn the multiplication table if you do not know it yet. And yeah, I guess. And I think that's it for the lesson. After this one, maybe. Good job doubling! Thank you. Lesson. Well, I guess the next lesson from multiplication doubling. I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm not gonna skip the video games because this video is Here's a problem to solve. Video games. Even even though some video games are fun, I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. If you're disappointed, I'm sorry. Let's double it. Here's a prop. 
So this lesson two jumps. Um, just doubling, I guess. Can't I, mean, I can't really explain anything. Four you jumps just need to know that You're doubling everything. There's no, there's no explanation really. Just know the Eight multiplication facts up. and know how to double everything. Figure this one out. What are I can do mentally? Just, just know that you have to double. Let's double it. So two jumps. That is thirty six. Four jump. Let's double it. What's the two jumps up? Oh, I just thought of this right now. You can actually look at the arrows. You can see that um four like jumps ten out ten. ten. Seeing ten with the arrow, basically meaning that's adding ten, adding ten, and adding ten. So you can use that as a little tool maybe to um know um or to have Eight a way of thinking of how to solve this. Figure the like I said, if you, don't, if you don't know how to do this mentally because you don't know the multiplication table, it's best you should learn it. It's best if you learn it. Um, if not, then you can just repeatedly adding or repeatedly add um, the numbers together. Over right here, I can see um, why as like like eight, like eight plus eight plus eight plus eight right here. So you know that like eight. Plus eight plus eight plus eight, basically meaning eight times four is thirty-two. Then you can add that to get the sixty-four. I'm pretty sure that's why it has like these rectangles. It's a little way of thinking. And yeah, I guess this is I guess good this is the job. End of this w. Video. I don't really have much to explain for this video, um, so I guess I'll be ending the video here. If you have any questions, please say so in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.